As businesses and people continue to return to a more pre-pandemic lifestyle, the need for ride sharing opportunities continues to rise. Many people have experienced lengthy wait times or even have had a hard time finding drivers at all. Reporter Alex Myers sat down with two drivers who shared their thoughts on the problem. Well, I've always got a rider in the car and a rider in reserve all day with no breaks until I go offline. And it's been that way every single day for, I guess that's five months now. Ride sharing has been a popular way to get around in large cities over the last decade. But since the pandemic hit, many are finding it hard to find a ride. James Hammond began working for Uber when he lived in Sevier County. Now driving in Nashville, he's feeling the effects. We're in a major driver shortage um, to the degree that uh, one of the ride share companies is actually paying a bounty of $1,000 for us drivers to recruit our friends and family to come and drive for them. The traffic's there, the people are out, but the drivers are not there. And that's creating a problem for some customers. And I have people all the time tell me they had to request drivers up two and three times and finally get me. Uh, and that was never, I've never heard that, or I've only heard that in the last six months. Hammond has a theory for one reason why drivers are more scarce. I think what a lot of people don't realize is that the driver base, a big majority of them were retiree. And I think that's a lot of the reason why we don't have the driver base because the retiree age of folks that were driving didn't come back. So what can you do to improve your chances of finding a ride? I would book every ride in advance. That way you know you're always going to have an Uber driver. I do that every single time. Alex Myers reporting.